basically two types of mini PCs, Intel based mini PC and AMD based mini PC. So, so this is the mini PC we're going to install Mastent OS on. This is the AMD based mini PC. The thing about AMD mini PC is that you're gonna get more power for the price. And the main drawback for Omastent users, not all of the add-ons are gonna be compatible straight away. It doesn't mean that you won't be able to install all of the add-ons that you want, but it means that you, it will take maybe some extra steps. Moreover, since usually you buy AMD based computers for the processing power, you may not want to run Omastent OS directly on it because it may be a waste of computing power because this thing is a beast. What I would recommend in this case, if you have this kind of mini PC that are quite powerful, is actually to use it as a home server and not only use it solely for Omastent OS, meaning that you would run something like a virtualization software or a NAS software like TrueNAS or maybe Proxmox and run Omastent OS as part of a virtual machine and other services like all of the, for example, add-ons that you wouldn't be able to run on Omastent OS directly. This specific PC, it has Ryzen 7 CPU chip with up to 4.3 gigahertz, Wi-Fi 6, two USB 3 ports here, one USB-C here, an audio jack here and a microphone here. Perfect to make your own voice assistant and replace Alexa. You have a gigabyte port and a 2.5 gigabyte port. Perfect for separating your IoT network from your main network. You have the M2 stick of 500 gigabytes. You can actually just change it. It's made to be absolutely upgradable. Here we have one RAM stick of 16 gigabytes and you have another slot to add another RAM stick. Here we have a little ribbon adapter to put a SATA drive, so like an SSD or even an HDD. Since this one has been sent to me, I managed to negotiate pull discount code for you guys. Here, as you can see, I already have used it. So basically it makes it go from 344 euros to 282 euros. For a beast like this, honestly, it's quite a good promotion code. I leave this code and the link in my bio, so make sure to check it out. And now let's move on to how to install Amazon OS on any mini PC.